y'all welcome to fresh pit farmhouse today's diy is this really easy and really adorable ombre mason jar set so to start this project i picked up some waverly brand paint from walmart and this is the color white so i'm just going to take a craft brush and i'm going to paint all three of the jars in the white chalk paint you're going to want to make sure that each coat dries completely before you add the next coat. And each jar took about two coats of the white paint. So this is what it looks like after you have painted two coats of the white paint. I'm taking this folk art brand craft paint. This is the color conch shell and I purchased this at Michael's. So to paint the darkest of the ombre jars, I'm just gonna paint the conch shell color right over the white. Now again, the white paint has already dried, so I'm just gonna paint this directly over. And the reason I'm painting this over the chalk paint is because chalk paint adheres to glass much better than craft paint. So that's why I did the base layer with the chalk paint. And then you can go over it with just about any kind of paint. So again, I'm just gonna make sure that I cover this jar completely with that color conch shell. Now for the middle color, I'm gonna mix an equal part of the white chalk paint with the conch shell um, folk art craft paint. And so this is gonna be for the middle jar in our ombre. So again, ombre goes from lightest to darkest. And again, I'm just painting over the jar where I have already painted it with the white chalk paint. So just make sure you have full coverage on that and you can see these are already looking really cute lined up so after they have dried just take some sandpaper this was some 80 grit um, like a spare little piece of sandpaper that I had and anywhere I wanted the mason jar to look aged I just took my sandpaper and sanded right over that and you can do as much or as little as you'd like I like my pieces to look really rustic so I get a little carried away with my sandpaper. So after you have sanded all your jars, you can add some Spanish moss. And I just tuck that Spanish moss in there. You could add some floral foam if you'd like. I just put the Spanish moss in there and just added some flowers. And these turn out really cute. You could do these in just about any color for any season. This is just a beautiful blush pink ombre effect. And I love how this turned out. So y'all will have to let me know what y'all think. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks, y'all.